Well, let's, let's get ourselves lined up though. So, um, okay. Vandu's going to be in the back. Does yeah. uh, is Lizzie going to be in front of me, and then is it going to be Sparrow, or? Uh, no. Uh, me and Lizzie are going to be all the way in the back. Okay. So let's. Uh, uh, Allegretto, would you mind moving your token to the front there? Thank you. So yeah, I'll go here then. Uh, the old guys will be in the back. Wilkes will be there, followed by Sparrow, and then those two. All right. Okay, so Allegretto is glowing, right? Let me put a light source on him. There we go. Now, does it say I have a limit on this light? Moving everyone's tokens now. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, well, they're moved. But I don't. I, I assume you're going to move the map over soon. Yeah, I have to go to the map and cut, paste the tokens in first. That's fine. I don't know what I don't I don't know I don't know what happens uh, behind the scenes. So you know. Yeah, I just realized. Did we even tell Sarah what the hell was going on, or we just leave her? Oh behind? shit! <laughs> <laughs> we forgot about Sarah. <laughs> she doesn't care. She knows that you guys are going into the tomb, and she's just waiting for you to come back. <laughs> That's funny, yeah, we completely I, forgot I feel, about Sarah. I feel rude as shit now. <laughs> like, yeah, we didn't even tell her, we just kind of walked in, like, see you, bitch! It's like, those bastards. You know what? Fuck it. She's three. She's two levels higher than us, she can take care of herself. Oh, this is a big one. Yeah, let's see how... It's loading pretty fast, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, we're gonna... There we go, holy some... fuck some point, I'm going to have to take five minutes to pause and feed the puppy. Why are you saying holy fuck, Dan? Uh, this is narrow. Like, damn, this this is like my dungeons. It's Very <laughs> narrow. The hallway is ten feet wide. How is that narrow? It's pretty standard. <laughs> uh, yeah, yours is only technically five feet when you do, like, hallways. Or is, or is his five? Or his, is original, five? Oh. his original ones are five, his newest ones are ten. Cool. Yeah, my newest ones are 10 because I've been using Minotaurs and shit. I really don't feel like having them squeezed in there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, right. let, me, let me know when it's loaded for everybody. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, well, you go down the stairs. There's actually sunlight shining in through here, so this first part of the hallway would have been brightly lit. Okay, I want to immediately look here and try to notice what the string goes to. Well, that's a bell. Yeah, it's attached to the string that um, menu cut outside. Okay, we should be stealthy and check around wherever that bell can be heard from. Okay, uh... Um, actually, PJ, what would it be to roll to actually, uh, disable the bell? Isn't it technically already disabled since I cut the string? Well, yeah, it's already disabled. I mean, the trigger for alarming it was outside. Hmm. So... We can't walk up to it and like flick it and make it go off. You could. I mean, it's a bell. Then All you have to do is shake it. Oh, you mean like take the little hook thingy out from inside of it to keep it from ringing? Yes. yes. We'd like to do that so we can't ring ever. What, what, what is that thing called? A knocker? Mm -hmm. No. In fact, how about this? Can I take the bell off of the wall and pocket it? And the string? Um, if you want to do it quietly make a sign of hand check, but before you do, I want the whole party to make a group stealth check. Yeah, okay. group stealth check. Oh my god. I got a three. Alright, Lizzie got a nine. I got a fourteen. A uh, twenty for me. Fucking birds! <laughs> <laughs> I got a twelve. Actually, what am I saying? I know bards have proficiency in fucking everything eventually. Yeah. Actually, I just realized I have chain mail, so that's a negative. That's disadvantage, right? Uh, yeah. Technically, oh, it is shit. disadvantage. That means Manu has so, disadvantage as well. It's fine. It's so it's does, still a three. So does Lizzie. I have a four now. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, Lizzie's staying the same. Thank God. What's Manu's new stealth? It's just, it's the same as that. Yeah, it's the same. It's three. Oh, really? Because you wrote a two before. Yeah, two plus one, three. Three plus one, four. It's the lower one. One that's not the same. We have but, disadvantage. Okay. We have disadvantage. We have to take the lower. 
I know. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's the same number regardless. Like, it, it, it didn't no, change. It didn't the number change. did not change. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so yeah. what is the third highest result? Should have been writing that down. <laughs> well, I had a 14. Who had... Well, start naming numbers. I had a 14. I had a 13. 14, 13. 13. Everyone, everyone sound off your results. Three. Four. Fourteen. Uh, non nat 20. It looks like we're going off of the 13. Because Lizzie had lower than me. Okay. And, and so I had higher than Keith. So it looks like our sweet spot is 13. Okay. Yeah. Then in that case, have Zid, if he's the one who wants to do it, have him move all the way uh, up. No. To the... Is anyone proficient in sleight of hand? I am not screwing up. I am not. I am not. Uh, it looks like the best one for the job is Sparrow. I was gonna say, I'm probably gonna be the better one for <laughs> Okay, can you try to get that off the wall with all the string and give it to me? I will make an attempt. Hold on, let me um, unlock player movement. Sure. There you go. I, I right. swear, some of our half assed ideas, I'm gonna start smoking again, they're so nerve wracking. Okay. <laughs> no, this isn't really a half ass idea. This is me planning ahead because eventually I'm going to be using this... Matt Bell and String to set up for watch. This is That's so a good idea, actually. Thing, yeah. yeah. Or beat somebody's head in one too. So Sparrow quietly moves up to the bell and attempts to remove it from the wall without making any noise. Okay. Don't fuck this up, bird. D <laughs> twenty uh, plus my dex, right? D20 plus your sleight of hand bonus. So add your proficiency oh, yeah. as well. Oh. Sweet. Uh, 17. Total? 21. 21. It's 21. 17, 20, uh, 17 total. Oh, so okay. you rolled a 13? Oh. 17. I rolled a 12 plus 5. Well, it's plus 4. You have a plus 2 dex modifier, and proficiency is plus 2. Oh. And I am. I have a plus four to my sleight of hand because I'm proficient in sleight of hand. I I know that's what I said. And you said oh, yeah, you wrote yeah. a, no. said you wrote a twelve, right? Yeah. That means no, your result is sixteen. Yeah, so sixteen. Yeah. Did we get okay. it? Yeah, she uh he effectively removes it without making a single noise and gets about God, how long is that string? Goes outside. Um, it's about 60 feet long. Oh, cool. 60 feet of string, that works. Yeah, we could tie it around a bunch of trees or something while we're resting. Yeah, that works. Guys, remember, 60 feet what? Well, it sounds like a lot is not a lot. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Regardless. <laughs> but that was awesome, it worked. That's all that counts. Yep, so... Okay. Does Sparrow give the bell and string to Zed? Uh... Considering he's probably watching, yes. Well, I'm not trying oh. to be. Eventually, I'm going to be our group watch. Trust me, the undying favors me. <laughs> okay. Yep. So we get back into position, and I suppose we should get moving then. Okay. Go ahead and add one bell and sixty feet of string to your inventory, Zed. I already did. And then I will remove this. Okay. So we got okay. the bell and string. We can't use so. it against us, and we have another precaution for watch. So. I also want everybody to roll a perception check. Or whoever is okay. most perceptive. Whichever you guys want. Which is me. Should we all roll one? Uh, if you want. Or you can just use the help action on Allegretto. I'll, I'll roll my own. Uh, that will just, that will give me a... What will that give me? 10 plus... You know what, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use the help action on him so he can uh, roll again and see if he can get higher. Mine's a 17. So yeah, Allegretto, Allegretto, roll again, see if you can get a higher number. Roll again, am I adding any kind of plus to this? No, oh, you're, you're just plus. using you're just using the higher of the two numbers. Yeah, so basically do the same roll. Okay, we're using your original roll. 22. <laughs> okay, so Allegretto can hear footsteps. Light footsteps from either side of this hallway. Can I hear clear enough to get a rough uh, idea of how many people are making the footsteps? Mm. 
Rangers have favored enemies, right? You didn't choose that yet, though, did you? Say that again? R Rangers ha normally have favored enemies, right? As well no, as I have not made that choice. Okay. Um. How far can he see in there? Just 30 feet? Uh, he can see up to the wall. There's a wall here. Aw, oh, shit. Okay, Allegretto determines that there are two creatures walking. Okay. Does anyone have a marble? Does anyone have actually, any marbles or anything? Actually, actually, I have a. I have three bags of ball bearings. Do you want one? I would like to have one ball bearing, and I would like to roll one into the hallway with the light cantrip on it. Feel free, and I hand over a single ball bearing. Okay, so I'm going to quietly move here, and I am literally just going to cast a light cantrip on the ball bearing, which will take it off of Allegretto, and I just want to roll it into the hallway. Okay, um, give me a second. Um, what man, what man, oh, actually, hold on. Can Nets only attack one person at a time? I think so, yeah. Okay, well, just forget it then. Okay, you saw that section of the hallway light up, right? No. Uh, if I move this away, how does it look? It's the same. Like, you see this section right here, the part that looks dimmer? I see that, yes. Yeah, watch it. It became brighter, right? No. It looks the mm -hmm. same to me. Nope. Nope. What if I do it repeatedly? Nothing's happening. Yeah, nothing's happening. Really? Yeah. Okay, let me try this. What are you trying to do? Oh, that's better. It, it, it lit up a little bit. Okay, it has to be on the hidden layer. It can't be invisible. What? Well, okay. What? A little, uh, there's a shadow, there's an arc of shadow at the end of the hallway, and it's just com went completely bright now. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's all I got. I just wanted to see a little bit more of the hallway, see if I can catch something. Well, you roll the ball bearing in, it rolls until it hits the wall and starts rolling back a little bit, following the crease between the stone tiles and the floor, and the footsteps stop. Uh, real quick, could I, um, cast Comprehend Languages on myself? That's, uh, just one action, right? Yeah, it's just one action. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. I will just cast Comprehend Languages on myself. Uh, um, does that let you understand any spoken language? Any spoken language, and if it's written, I have to be touching the surface. Okay. Well, you cast it, and you can hear whispering in the other room. Uh, they're speaking in Goblin, and they're saying, Something's here. Get ready. Okay, Wilkus, I have a suggestion for you. I want to whisper this to you. I suggest that you go in front for right now. I sense a fight coming on, and I'd like to have someone in heavy armor right at the front. And you have the most help. Kaze, that's you if you forgot again. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, Wilkus, before you move up, if you do move up, um, Sparrow's gonna go ahead and just tap you on the shoulder and just like say, "Yeah, go get him," and give you an inspiration dice. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to what? Beat the shit out of whatever's in there. Uh, you're gonna slowly lead the group in. Since this is a hallway, I'd like to use that as a choke if possible. Okay. Then yeah, I'll take point and start moving. Just to clarify, you guys spent a while searching those goblin corpses outside, so Manu no longer has his inspiration die. I understand. Um, Manu will pocket his net, and he's going to pull out a bag of call drops for his offhand. Okay. Does everyone start approaching the threshold? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. At this point, I've got a sword instead of a bow. Okay, so, what happens when you reach the threshold? Do you peek inside? Yeah. Okay, you peek inside, and immediately, two goblins fire arrows at you. Oh, good. 
Yep, so they had prepared actions. 13 and 22. Uh, that 22 hits. So you take 7 piercing damage. Ouch. Black. That's a lot. It's okay. I, I have healing powers as well as uh, Lizzie. Well, a few things to, sp um, to point out. Uh, actually, what? I want Wilkes to roll a perception check. That'd be a 13. Total? Yep. Okay, on the floor, this tile, like these two tiles right here. You see what I'm pointing? Yeah. These two tiles and these two tiles seem to be an inch higher off the ground than the rest of the tiles. Fuck. Likely pressure plates. Yes, I'm just going to move you in here and show you the hallway. There you go. Double fuck. Okay, so the arrows came from both different sides. Alright. Okay, so yeah. Yep, everyone... uh, after getting shot, he's going to back up a bit. Because he's now, like, you know, 50% health. Yeah, so everyone roll initiative. Let me go ahead and add all of you. Finally. Someone let me add on my cage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, he, he said, uh, I, I, I think, I don't know, isn't that like I a line from the gorillas? I was yeah. by the gorillas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it all manageable. Pick and choose. <laughs> <laughs> We're idiots. <laughs> Speak for yourself, I'm a smartass. <laughs> okay, is everyone all set up then? Or? Nope. Okay. No, I am. Okay. Okay. First up is one of the goblins. No, hold Wrong. on, hold on. Allegretto. You need a. Yeah. Allegretto's oh. 21. Whoops. Yeah. Okay. Then Allegretto is actually first. Yeah. Now, what is it going to be for me to move around Wilkes to uh, yeah. get to a goblin? You can move through an ally's space, but it's difficult terrain. And you can't end your turn in it. And you can't favor your allies as terrain. <laughs> yeah, this isn't forest. This is a tomb. You no know, favored terrain here. <laughs> I favor Wilkes. He's my ally, so I should get... Whatever, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Do I want to go left or right? Um, survey says... All right. Fine, I'm going to... Be careful of the pressure plates. Shit, I forgot about that. Um... Alright, I'm should going be... to move my character. Thank you. And then... I can technically reach this goblin right here. So I can move... Now, to get over the pl pressure plates, are you going to make me roll anything, PJ? Um, if you want to get over the pressure plates, you will have to jump. What is your strength? Um, 15. 15? That means you can jump seven and a half feet from a standstill without having to roll. So, you can just move over them. As long as you know they're there and you say that you jump. All right, Which I would assume that you the do. Yes. And then my map tool decided to go wonky. I see that. Okay. Um, thank you. So then I'm going to jump and why is my map tool going? This is why I have the overwatch. Okay. Because for some reason. Yeah, does it does it do that weird thing that mine does, where like the um the chat window like goes all like weird and du duplicates itself over and over? No. No. Okay. No, my map's not working. But I'm going to. I forgot to give Allegretto dark vision. You should be able to see a third goblin over here, but it's not attacking you. Right. Well, I'm going after that one right there with my sword. With your sword. Yes. Oh, are you moving all the way to it? Because you have to be touching tokens. Yes. To it, yeah. Yeah. PJ, um, uh, having 
technical difficulties. Okay. There. What 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 is it, Eiler? I mean, not Eiler. Uh, Kaze. I mean, there's raised platforms. At... Wilkes would have warned him as he came into the room. Yeah, they, these are the raised platforms right here, right? Yeah. Which very likely means that he just hit two pressure plates. Again. No, he, he jumped over. I'm having technical difficulties, Nick. Yeah. He... My token is not behaving the way yeah. that it should be. Yeah, his token's jumping all over the place. Do you want me to move it? Yeah, would you please? <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're all right. Okay. So I... that I'm not on the pressure plate, but I'm in range to attack him. Yeah, as long as the center isn't on the tile, then he's not on it. Okay. So, like, did he jump to it? Or... Yeah, he jumped over it. Oh. I missed him saying that. Okay. We were just talking about him jumping. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he just did a hell of a lot of damage. I haven't seen a goblin survive 10 yet. Uh... This one does not survive 10. This one dies immediately. Cool. All right. Then my guess was good. I was hoping that I could knock out the right goblin. The next one on the list is all the way down there. I was hoping I was going to get the one that went after me. You did. Yes, I know. I'm lucky. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then next is Sparrow. Alright, uh, can't really do much until I can see them, so I'll go ahead and just move up in front of Nanu. By the way, Nanu, if you move into, mm -mm, if you move your token into a place where you should be able to see, uh, hit Control I while your token is selected, and that will reveal the fog of war. Okay. I already did it for you, but just for future reference. Gotcha. All right. Uh, I believe that's all he's going to really do. Um, can he hold an action, or does the movement break that? Um, you mean ready in action? Yeah, yeah. Readying in action is an action, not a movement. Okay. So, I'll just ready in action just in, uh, in case I see a goblin come around the corner. So you're going to shoot him with your short bow if you see one in range? Uh, I'll, with that being there, I'll probably just end up casting uh, another Vicious Mockery if I see one in range. Okay, is that a cantrip? Yeah, it's a cantrip. Okay. Alright, next is Zed. Oh god. I'll probably have you... 20 feet. What? Oh, because they're, they're difficult terrain, right? Yeah, yeah, allies are difficult terrain, yes. So yeah, that'd be twenty. That'd be twenty feet. Yes. That's weird because I thought uh, medium-sized characters only took a five-foot cube. That is strange, actually. Um. Well, no, it would. Well, it wouldn't equal twenty feet. It would equal fifteen. It'd be fifteen. Yeah. How, how so, though? Five extra feet for moving through the five-foot space of the ally. But he's but he's already moved ten feet though. Yeah, and that would be 15 feet of his movement. Well, no, wouldn't it just be doubled? Because the entire 10-foot space was occupied by an ally. No, it wasn't. Didn't you just see how he moved? I saw exactly how he moved. Look. The... Yeah, it's 10 feet. You move into the difficult terrain, and that costs double, right? Oh, that's what you mean. Then okay. you move out of the difficult terrain, and that costs okay. normal. My fault, my fault, my fault, yes. Okay. Because you only take the difficult terrain when you walk out of a space. Into. Into a space. Oh, okay. Got it. I wasn't clear on that. Got it. Okay, and is there any way I can, like, move to the side of the hallway? Uh, you can. Uh, you can ask your allies to get out of the way for future reference. Yeah, Bitch, he... move! <laughs> couldn't, couldn't you just move with the center down to get to the end of the hallway? Um, you could squeeze past them. Would I take a penalty at all? You want to, uh, does squeezing grant penalties? I think squeezing grants advantage, but I don't think you have to worry about them attacking you with locusts in the way. Can I redo my movement and squeeze? Well, you move at half speed when you squeeze anyway. Oh, fuck. Alright, you know what? I'll just ready a, um, a Eldritch Blast. Actually, you know what? 
I've got this really annoying feeling I'm about to be by myself when that goblin gets his turn. <laughs> no, no, hold on. Let me let me think about this. If I squeeze now, when I squeezed, can I stay in that space? Uh, yes, you can. You can't stay in an ally space, but you can end your turn while squeezing. Okay, so I can squeeze roughly here. Yeah. And I can end there. Well, I can stop there. But at the same time, let me measure this out. Okay, I can just hit the hallway. I would like to use prestidigitation to emit a sound around here. Uh, it's an illusionary sound. I want to try to mimic, oh, let's see. You know what, since I'm from that area, I want to mimic a fiend roaring. A fiend roaring, huh? Yes, I, I want to do it as an illusionary effect right here. It's gonna emanate from right here like it's coming down the hallway. Okay, uh, I want you to roll a deception check. Okay, that's d20. 14 plus 7, 21. And if you want intimidation, it'd be 21. So, whichever one you want. Well, you're trying to fool it into thinking there's a fiend there, right? Not just scare it away? Well, that's part of the idea. I do want to scare it away. Yeah. Uh, the goblin hears the sound and his legs immediately begin shaking. That's all I get? <laughs> Damn. It's, it's, well, not, that's well, all I it's, not, it's not his turn. It's yeah, not his what's turn. What's he gonna do? I don't know. I was hoping he'd have a heart attack and just drop dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's that's all I can do. So, Manu, you're up. Okay, Manu. Um, now, in order to move through both of these allies, I'd have to just add use ten, how much? Just move and add 10 feet to whatever you moved. So this would become 24? Well, well 25. it's closer to 15, so it would be 25, yeah. 25, okay. Well, let me think about that for a second. Because um, that wouldn't leave me enough uh, enough uh, space to actually jump over the, pr the pressure plates. So for now, I'm just going to postpone my turn. I hold. Okay. Uh, next is the goblin. <laughs> Uh, the goblin doesn't want any part of that fiend it just heard, and goblins are cowards, so it's going to actually drop its bow in place. Wait, what? Oh. What? Um. Sparrow, you, you don't have to toggle hold for a prepared action. Oh, okay. And that's just if you're delaying your whole turn. Gotcha. Yeah, but, um, the goblin uh, is actually going to drop its short bow and the arrow it had docked right where it's standing, and run through this doorway here. Which, by the way, is an open porculus that Allegretto can see. The only light that's being given off right now is from the glowing uh, bear ball bearing, right? Yeah, which is yeah. right here. Okay. Yeah, but if anyone has dark vision, they can see too. Yeah, well, we're going to break initiative right now. Uh, <laughs> looking down the hallway, Allegretto can see there's a door here. The open portcullis I mentioned before here, and the other goblin has noticed Allegretto and is making faces at him. He's sticking his thumbs in his ears, wiggling his fingers, and blowing raspberries. He's trying to provoke you into coming over the pressure plate, I bet. Did you seriously just tell me that that goblin just went neener, neener, neener at me? Yeah. Why do you sound so weird? <laughs> Because I'm not actually wearing my headset, I was taking care of the dog's dinner real quick. Okay. Okay, we're out of initiative, right? Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna squeeze by everybody. And I'm gonna stand right here. Allegretto, would you like to hop over next to me? Since this fucker wants to taunt? I suppose. Should we just uh, move Allegretto back over then? Yeah. Yeah, I'll... I'm still ha I'm still having move problems. Oh, okay, that's so fine. he's okay. right there. Uh, yeah, uh, at the same time, I want us to blast that fucker. <laughs> With what? Uh, what? Whatever the hardest hitting thing you got is. Too many open jokes, I'm gonna let that one go. Um, <laughs> alright, it would be the longbow. Okay, let's go. Is someone shuffling cards? I yes, missed. I am. <laughs> we both missed. Yeah, that's... 
Yeah, he um dodges the blast, dodges the arrows, and then he turns around and smacks his ass at you and then runs into the shadows. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Snarky goblin. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna get pissed now. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna pick up the ball bearing. I'm gonna fucking give it back to Manu. So there's your ball bearing back. Okay, let me. It get is so, still glowing right now. Let me get. Manu puts a, Manu puts up his max mask for a few seconds and just kind of asks, uh, "So where are we heading next then?" Well, I don't want to go where that goblin went. I suggest we check out the door. And okay. my character is basically kind of pointing and saying we we should kind of go over here. Not a problem with me. And he puts the mask back down. So I am going to hop over this. What is... Who has the lowest strength? I think that's Sparrow. Yeah, I have a nine. Yeah, so Sparrow will be unable... Sparrow will be unable to jump over those pressure plates normally without making a roll. Okay. Oh, man. Well, hold on, well, then. Ha, ha. hold on, then. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me do this real no. quick. I'm going to hop over. Is there Can a keyhole? Tyler, Tyler. Continue. No, I want you to say what you're going to say. I was going to say, how heavy do, How heavy is is she? Uh, he, sorry. He weighs that being Sparrow. Sparrow weighs about 95 pounds. Since I am a fur bulk and I have... I'm treated as being, like, large in the, for the case of carrying things. Could I just carry her over while I make the jump? Him. Him, sorry. Would that not require you to make a roll as well? Uh. Additional weight. Well, he's well this, And yes, I'm calling your character fat. <laughs> sorry. Not uh, yours. I, what he, were you saying, he he is treated as large for when it comes to carry weights, though. Yeah, he can carry. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, so I could do that? Yeah, you could. Just, she would okay. be treated as, um, sorry, he would be treated as, um, grappled for as long as you're doing so. That's not a problem. Uh, I do ask Sparrow if, if he'd be willing to do that with me. Uh, Sparrow agrees and kind of holds his hands up, like, up, like he says, picking me up. <laughs> okay, so I do, I do pick him up and like kind of hold him over my shoulder. I imagine he said that in a toddler's voice. <laughs> it was like a really high-pitched gnome voice. <laughs> so while, while they're having that interaction, I'm looking for a keyhole. Yeah, there's a keyhole. Can I look through it? Yeah, uh, let's see. I'm gonna break a small section. Not that small. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, so, guys? Yeah, uh, see. I can see two goblins. I see what looks to be a sleeping quarters and possibly where they keep their supplies. Yeah, it looks like a very large room that used to just be for supplies, but they've turned it into their sleeping quarters. I'm going to go ahead and put the vision blocking back on. Well, we could still handle it, I think. I mean, they're just goblins. Okay. Oh, also, while I'm carrying a sparrow, I do walk over to Wilkis. Uh, do you want some uh, lay on hands, buddy? That would be much appreciated. Okay. I do use all my five, five lay on hands points to get him back up as high as he can to 11. Yep. Be to 11. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm going to hop back over. And I am also going to use a shitty version of Lay on Hands. I'm going to use Healing Hands on Wilkus. Uh, well, he's already at 11 out of 13. Is that really uh, necessary? Yeah. God, all these, just, all these men touching Wilkus. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I might as well use it because it's really not going to be that useful in combat. I'd rather use it now. Okay. So that get him to full? Uh, no, um, it only heals for my level, so he only gets one hit point. Oh! But, <laughs> hey, that's why I wanted to do it, okay? He needed two <laughs> hit points to back. Okay. Sorry, well, I, 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 I choked me up for a second. 
I mean, I did say, and I quote, a shitty version of Lay on Hands. <laughs> that's, that's an understatement. That's like the shittiest thing imaginable. Hey, 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 you know what? It comes with the race. Leave it alone. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to hop back over. After the next combat, we'll take a break. Okay. <laughs> okay, can... Would everyone be in agreement if I use press the digitation to shoot sparks through the keyhole to see if I can startle them? Uh, would I be able to assist if he does that with my mimicry? What would you be mimicking? What is uh, your because in- I because I heard him uh, do like some sort of fiendish roar? I could mimic that. That is true. Mm, okay. Oh, let me let me get her him over the gap first, please. Okay. Okay. Um. So let me just move. Stupid vision. Okay. All right. So I, I I guess if they're gonna do that, I'm going to ready to shoot at the door. If something opens the door, I'm going to try to shoot at it. If I'm able to safely. Okay. Well, you got to shoot the idiot to, that opens the door so you can get through it. Okay, okay. and but before we do this, though, just just in case, does somebody want to search that corpse and see if there might be a key? Because I haven't checked if this door is locked. Well, Sparrow's right there. I mean, is this, I mean, do you want to check it out? Sorry, what was... Um, do you want to I... check out the body that's below you for if it has anything on it? Oh, yeah, we will do that right. while so, he's yes, standing on top of it. For a key. Sparrow goes over the whole body. Uh, he finds the regular goblin stuff, leather armor, shield, scimitar, short bow, all that stuff. And in addition to that, also finds 13 silver, which he can add to his inventory. But other than that, nothing else. Okay. Okay. Just covering everything. Alright, so... That was a jackass your... that, sh- you know, spanked his ass at us. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, that one ran. That one ran like a little bitch. Yeah, because you missed him. Shut up. We both missed. I mean, I thought we were just going to blow his head off, but no, we had to miss. Okay, you all ready? Yeah, so you're going to use Mimicry to mimic the fiend that I had roaring while I shoot sparks through the keyhole? Yep. Now, what kind of sparks? Like fire sparks or rainbow sparks or what? Rainbow sparks? What the hell kind of warlock do you think I am? (laughs) Um, you know what? You know what? Cancel that. Cancel that. It's harmless anyway. I can pretty much make up something useful. Oh! Shit! Okay, you know what? What? Alright, I know what I want to do. Yeah? Um, since I know... Okay. Okay, you know what? You you can comprehend the goblin language is not, right, Sparrow? Uh, yeah. How long does it last? One hour. Okay. Is it still in effect? Yeah. Yeah. What's the symbol for death in Goblin? I can't understand symbols. Fuck! Yeah. It can't be runic or symbols. It has to be spoken or written. Wait a minute. I can still do this. Okay. Alright, here, here's how we're going to do this. How we, well, how I want to do this. Uh, I can do press the digitation three and one. I can do three different effects. And you can mimic. Uh, tell Zid what the word for death is in Goblin. She wouldn't be able to do that, though. No, she can only I... she can only understand it when she hears it or is touching it. He, yeah. He. Yeah, that's not how com- common languages doesn't, doesn't magically just make you understand all languages immediately. It just makes so. you receptive to them. Just, okay, just go... you know what? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make here's this a, as here's scary a thought. as possible. What? Here's a thought. Well, Goblin might not work. But I happen to know from personal experience, both in and out of game, screaming the word death and draconic works just as just as well. Or, you know, common, because they know common. Okay. Does anyone have any vials, bottles, anything? Uh, I am checking, Lizzie. I have her character sheet. You don't have anything that I can use for this situation. I have nothing. All I have is my water skins, which isn't going to help. Okay. I got a pouch full of rocks. That's about it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to move over to the goblin. I am going to use the bowl for my mess kit, and I am going to slash his his uh, artery open with um, 
the scimitar I got from the other goblin, and I am gonna bleed it into the bowl. What the fuck? No, uh, you know no, 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 no. I know where he's question. going with this, BJ. Don't Just watch. This. If I'm gonna do this, I'm doing it big. So I, I now have a bowl of blood, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna do a three and one pre pre uh, press the digitation while Sparrow is mimicking that roar. And what I'm gonna do is at all at the same time, I'm gonna dump the blood at the foot of the door so it oozes through. I am gonna shoot fiery sparks through the keyhole. I'm gonna make the door warm and on the other side of the door I'm gonna have the symbol for death in common come up in blood red very elaborate but okay I don't think you can do that on the other side of the door if you can't see the other side of the door but whatever I'll allow it for the first session I'll also allow using press digitation like three or four times simultaneously because that's supposed to be an action <laughs> If you cast well, this, well, we're not in combat. I know, but you would still have to wait like six seconds between each casting. But like I said, I'll allow it. Okay, so that's pretty much what we want to do. Well, what I want to do. So do you do it? Yeah, the blood is going to be going in. The door is going to get, you know, warm. There's okay. going to be fiery sparks going through the keyhole. And the symbol for death is going to appear. Along okay. with uh, Sparrow making the noise that she's supposed to. He's yeah. supposed to. Yes. Yeah. So yep. he's going to make that fiendish roar that yep. he heard so, before. All that happens. Fiendish roar, blood under the door, word death, and sparks coming out of the keyhole. <laughs> yeah. All, all you can hear from the other side, apart from the noises you guys are making, are a bunch of screams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure what that accomplished, but okay. <laughs> Then, then Sparrow can hear them screaming in Goblin, Get it open! Get it open! <laughs> There's another door in that room. See, I want to know if they have a way out. I wanted to scare them so bad and see if they have a way out of that room. Just so I... <laughs> just so we know if they're cornered or not. <laughs> well, I think, well, I think I think it's about time we smashed our way in then. Well, I have no fucking strength, so I'm just going to back wave the door. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's unlocked, but <laughs> could slit. Well, so somebody try pushing the door first. Manu attempts to to open the door quickly. You, you know, see if it's open. Okay, Manu opens the door. It opens without a hitch. It wasn't locked, and there's no trap. Okay. As soon as the door opens, he he rushes in to see what he sees. So what does he What does he see? Well, let me remove the vision blocking. Well, you see a whole bunch of goblins. This one in front of you is just pulling this piece of wood like toward himself, trying to make like a barricade. And to your immediate right, well, you can't see anything because you don't have dark vision and the light isn't in there. But initiative is going to be starting now. That's fine. Let's do it. Uh, finally, okay. Oh wait, were we supposed to roll or not? You don't have to roll initiative. We're using the same initiative. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't know you were doing the same rules for my campaign. Sorry. <laughs> it just it just okay. goes faster. Okay, then uh, who's up then? Give me just a minute. Okay. Well, Lizzie is up. She's uh, strong enough to make the jump across, right? Uh, yeah, she uh, is. Yeah, she definitely. is. She has lots of strength. Okay. At least 18. So, you're going to have to jump this. So, okay, so you're going to move where? Here? Or do you want to move on the other side? On the other side. Okay, so you basically want to be in the corner, but as you move, you're obviously going to be looking that way. So you can just see what's in there. And that's where you want to end, or do you want to do something? Let me relay a bit more information. All four of the goblins that Manu can see, using the light that Zid is... Wait, can Manu even see? Oh, he can't see that far. You can only see from the light that Manu is casting, but... Yeah, you can so see, I see two. You see two goblins. 
and neither of them are armed or wearing armor. They're just wearing normal it's clothes. It's a brothel! <laughs> I said they're wearing it's... normal clothes. Yeah, most likely it's probably just... They're just not fighters. Hmm. Okay. Well, Manu takes note of that almost immediately. Um... And he's gonna... He, he just kind of, you know, speaks to them. He just says... Uh, you know, um... Are, uh, what's the, what would he say? Uh, well, he says, are you a threat? He asks them. Well, they're too terrified of the fact that supposedly Menu just made goblin blood spell out under the door and made sparks and a huge roar. So they're not willing to listen to you. Shit. Okay. But I would like Menu to roll a perception check. Sure. That's actually not bad for perception. That's going to be a 20. Okay. Um, over their screams, you do manage to hear one more sound. It's yeah. the sound of heavy hissing, is the best I can describe it, coming from your right. No, oh, well, I can't really see anything, so... Hmm. Alright. Is Lizzie's turn over? Yeah, Lizzie is done, because she doesn't want to attack yet. Alright, next is Wilkus. Okay. Well, you know shit's going on over there, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, how how does jumping affect my total or my amount of movement I can make? Um, you move at the same speed you normally would, and if you have at least ten strength, you can jump over five feet without having to spend extra movement or roll. Okay, so I'm gonna jump over those squares, and uh, yeah, I can't get in there, so I'm just gonna have to stop there. But you do have dark vision, so you can see all four goblins, right? Yep. Yeah, none of them are armed or armored. And these two in the back seem to be female. Okay. Right, Allegretto's right, turn. Okay, we gotta learn to stop piling up on each other. <laughs> yeah, that. I have no clue what exactly to do simply because there's a pile at the bloody door. I'll, I'll watch it for sure in the future. Alright, well. He's just going to, you know, jump, clear the buttons. Really, just kind of go right there because that's all he can do. Yeah, without being able to see anything. Okay. I, I look back. Well, I, I do look back at I do look back at Sparrow and say, um, you know, she can't she she can't actually speak it though, can she? Only understand it. Yeah. I can. Yeah, I can only understand it. I can mimic it once I understand it, but I have to. I don't know. Like it be select words. Okay. Then I'm not sure what to do. It's up to you, I guess. I would, uh, I would like to reiterate, oh goblins no common. That's a good point. You're right. You're right. Yeah, they do no common. Yeah. Oh, well, you can't really move too much without risking going back over that pressure plate. You should have enough movement to walk through us if you wanted, but I'm not sure if you want to get back, get into the room or not. Uh, I don't want to like. I don't know if I'd be able to get into the room. I don't want to jam up the doorway. Uh, yeah, even more. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what? Uh, just for sake of time, I will hold. Um, just in, in, until I feel like they're doing anything aggressive. Okay. Okay, Zed. Um. Yeah. How much more can I fuck this up? <laughs> yeah. If you can, um, it might be best if you can get some light in here so that we can see everyone and we can maybe try and work our way out of this. Um, is there any torches that are unlit, or candles, or maybe even a campfire in there? Uh, no. Like I said, goblins have dark vision, so they do not keep this place lit. Well, yeah, but is there any torches just hanging on a wall for the sake of the torch being there? No. Damn. You should have one in your adventurer's pack if you have one. Because adventurer's pack come with ten torches. Yeah... 
Well, you could, um, you know, step in there. You are giving off light. I'm not. I gave that ball back to Manon. I thought you Is cast it? light on yourself. I originally wanted to, but I can only hold it on one object at a time. Manu has the current object. So that object is still lit. I was unaware of that. Oh, wait. So I thought... I that ball bearing. I never removed a cantrip. Wait, does that mean Elevator okay. wasn't giving off light? No, he's not giving off light anymore. I thought he, he, just, he, just, he just has dark, light, dark vision or whatever, yeah. Okay, well, if I have the ball bearing, then I should be able to see the entirety of this room, right? Okay. In that case, Lizzie should be in complete darkness now. I'm, I'm in complete darkness, too. I can't click on my character. Well, since Manu has the light, let me put the light on him. Okay. You didn't tell me you could only put it on one thing at a time. I, I mentioned that. Eh, beside the point. Alright, so I have the light. Good. Okay. So, now that we know the light is there, so what is that ticking thing you were talking about? This. Oh. Oh, fuck! It's a giant wolf spider. What's that artwork from? Oh boy. Uh, it's just some artwork I found on Google Images. Okay. Okay, well, either way, um, it was Zid's turn, so what is it gonna do? Uh, well, I don't- I'm not aware of that thing yet. Manu would- Manu would tell you. That back? Okay. Uh, assume that if a character sees something, the information is relayed. Assume that. Unless they specify that they want to keep it secret. Yeah. Okay, Zid wants to know what what a wolf spider is. I mean, do you know what a spider is? Just a normal one? No. It's an eight-legged, um, I guess, insect that is oh. usually small. What? They're not in insects. That's why whatever. I said... Man, Man doesn't know exactly. Um, Correct. Okay, we'll be... Whatever. Just, yes. just say that yeah. it's an eight-legged monster. It's an eight-legged monster. Well, Zid really wants to see this thing, and he really wants to kill it. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Wait, is it Zid's turn or Manu's turn? It's Zid's turn. For some reason, I got hit twice. It is Zid's turn. Do any Does anyone know if spiders are repelled by certain smells or anything like that? I don't know. I don't know anything about that. But there's nothing... Well, no, your character would... <laughs> Go ahead. I was going to say, there's nothing in the stat block or the lore for giant wolf spiders saying anything like that, so I'm going to assume no. Okay, so press the digitation. I could... I can't really do a whole lot in the position I'm in. So... Can anybody do much in the position they're in? <laughs> Man, is about the only one. But when his turn comes around, he's going to try to calm them down enough so I can figure out exactly what this is all about. You know what? I am just going to ready an Eldritch Blast. I'm just going to ready it. I'm not going to shoot it. I'm just going to ready it, just in case I have to kill something. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do. Okay, Manu. Yes, Manu um, moves himself a bit more into the room to make room for everyone else. You said this is some sort of barricade, right? Yeah, it looks like a cage. There's a hinge right here, and this goblin seems to be holding it open. Holding it open? Yeah, like he just pulled it open, and he's holding it still so that the spider doesn't push against it. Okay. L look, sorry about... Uh, Emmanuel puts up his mask for a second. Look, I, we're sorry about about the sensory effects, all that. That was something... Just tell him it was magic, it's all illusions. It, it was all illusions. Well, uh... If you're not, if you're, I see none of you are in armor, none of you have weapons. We mean no harm to you if you mean no harm to us. Roll persuasion. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be 12. 12? Oh, actually, hold on, no. I'm actually proficient in persuasion, sorry. So it's actually 16. 16? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the goblins hear your words, and they're still a little terrified, but there's screaming a lot less okay um the last I, I do want to say just one last thing see if i can get a response i don't know if i will i do point to the wolf spider and says like is that thing dangerous uh the goblin holding the fence kind of smirks a little and nods his head quickly 
Okay. Okay. Well, that's that. That basically takes up my action, right? To do that or no? I thought uh, talking was free. No, talking no, is free. No, but but the but the check the check right took up my action or no? How exactly would that take up your action in addition to regular talking? Well, I, I thought that it would. I thought I thought persuasion checks during combat would does take up your action, or is that just a four E thing? I think that's just a four E thing. Yeah, okay. If, it, if it's part of talking, like you're trying to persuade them using your words, then it doesn't use anything. Okay. Talking. Well, if that thing if that thing is dangerous, then I see no reason why we can't simply face it. So what I'm going to do is I do move over towards it within range, which that would be within range. And I will go ahead and, uh, you know, try and whip it a little bit. Whip it good. Yeah, yeah that's, yes. that, that's my thought. But again, I cannot hit anything to save my life, so that's probably a miss. Because that's that would be eight. No, I'm sorry, ten. It'd be ten. Hmm, not high enough. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's fine. You guys well, can a little bit. Just, just to be certain, because I haven't asked yet. You guys can't see the stat blocks of the enemies, right? No. I can't okay. see them. Okay. No. Um, so I do have a little bit of movement left, so I do use a little bit of my movement to move back. Um, it's not within range to attack me, right? No. Okay. Um. What? I'm just checking. Just checking okay. its reach. No, I can't reach you. Okay. Then I'll just move back. I have enough movement to get to, get to here, and I'm done. There we go. Okay. Okay. Next to the goblins. This goblin here is going to hold the cage open, and the other goblins are going to flee from the scene. Closer to the big king-sized bed in the back. Then it's the giant wolf spider's turn. Giant wolf spider moves up to Manu and attempts to bite him. Oh god. Yes. Nin <laughs> 22. Okay, so... Wow, it's really thundering out, geez. Yeah, yeah I know, I, I hear that too. Well, first Same you here. take first you take five piercing damage, and then you need mm -hmm. to make a con save. Uh, am I proficient in con in constitution? No, I'm not. So what does that mean? Is I could just just roll it with my constitution? Yes. Okay. That's pretty good. That's a twenty that's a uh, twenty twenty. It's a twenty. You're so goddamn lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But yeah, that's all the wolf spider does. Next is Lizzie. Okay, Lizzie's up. So we have a wolf spider in the room. Uh, not currently, but the information is being relayed. Okay. Lizzie cannot currently see herself, but she can see the light being given off by Manu. If she's not holding anything in her hands and she has a torch, she can pull one out. Uh, see, that's the problem. She has a shield and a weapon in her hands. I can move you. You can move into my space using 10, 12 movement. No. 13 movement. And you can use Sacred Flame. It ignores cover. The spider just has to make a... Has Sacred Flame ever worked? <laughs> I hope it does if she tries it. I'm just asking if she wants to do it. All right. Spider has to make a dex save. DC is 13. Do I, don't, don't they have, like, huge dex saves? Uh, yeah, they Lots. do. Yeah. Let's we'll see what happens. Oh. It got an 8. Oh. There's your damage. 6 damage? 6 damage. Well, it does a lot of damage, but it looks like it's still alive. Okay. And she is going to move right back into the corner. That's actually pretty cool. It's actually one of the first, that's the first one that's worked. Sweet. That is all she does. All right, next is Wilkus. Okay. You're unimpeded. You can get in there. You can fucking smash its mandibles. Uh, 12? Uh, no. Its AC is 13. I have an inspiration dice, don't I? No. Yeah, D6. Wait, oh, wait no. Oh, Bardic inspiration die? Yeah. Bardic inspiration, yeah. Okay. I thought you were asking about regular inspiration. How does that? How does the bardic inspiration work again? Roll so I give you. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, she gave you one of her bardic inspiration dice. So now you can roll a d6 and add that to any d20 roll. Okay. There's that. Yep. So 16 does hit. 
So 14 damage. Yeah, it's dead. Smash and grab. In fact, even if I were to give it like death saves and stuff, that would still instantly kill it. Ah. Uh, so fucking strong that attack was. So combat's over. Yeah, combat is over. Because the other goblins aren't going to fight. They're weak and scared and basically kept as slaves by the other goblins. Lizzie wants to take a little time to um, use a healer's kit on Manu. Well, we're going to be taking a break, so everybody, like, do some things, like, before we, you know, take the break, and then we'll resume in 15 minutes. At about All right, well, 8.45. So how does healing kit work or whatever for her? Well, considering she's human, she's very inhuman, she has the feet healer. Uh, she will use one charge of her healer's kit. So let me put that in the box. It will be 1d6 plus 4. And that's how much oh. health you gain. I'll roll. Oh, okay. So, so 8. eight. That, that takes me back to full. Okay. Man, is it, isn't it great how, how, how beat up paladins get? It's and, always paladins. And we have to take a short rest before you can benefit from her healer kit again. Okay, you guys probably don't need to take a short rest right now. But no. we are on break, so back at 8.45, everybody. <laughs>